tonight. This this is going to be a test without a green screen tonight. We'll see how it goes. Let's see what happens here. Oh. I got a little bit of glare in my um my glasses tonight, but I got some purple light going on. <laughs> Good evening to let's see D Money's 327 Nick Gressla. We got uh, Asmarts. Mustafa is here. Blue Idol Kuji. C206 Station Air. Number one pilot snack air. Iowa Scotsman. Tiber. Good to see you guys. Um, so yeah, I, I, got, I put in some new light bulbs. And uh, watch this. What color do you want? Hmm, let's go green. Oh, it's green now. Oh, let's go blue. It's blue now. <laughs> it's blue. Oh, let's go red. Oh, it's red now. Yeah, it's kind of cool. A little bit different than normal. I guess we could do snack air green here for a little bit. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe purple. Twitch purple. We're in there. Um, kind of cool. The other thing that it will do is um, it will flash to the music. So uh, I'll just quickly play a a song here and see if it uh, if this actually works. Let's try this. It's actually going to the beat of the music. That's kind of that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, a hook. Yeah, when people, yeah, people can change it. I I think I actually, I actually think I can do it. Um, because let's go back here to purple. That's fine. Oh, we'll try the pink. It's kind of a magenta. Um, but yeah, it, it apparently I, I will, I can't, I can hook this into my Alexa and I think there's a way that I could make it. So if I get a subscribe or bits or donation or something, it'll, it'll flash. And then maybe even, yeah, someone could type in, um, a command and it could change the color in the background might be kind of <laughs> nerdy to play with. So yeah, a hook. Yep, I like that idea. You should have the light follow your mood. Yeah, turn red when I when the plane jacks up. Good evening, Jay Krause. Hope you're well, John. Uh, we are, like I say, we're in the Piper Warrior, and uh, we're gonna be taking uh, Sim Caesar's Donut Delivery Sprinkles five seven two uh, from K O T H up to uh, Eugene. So, uh, I'm testing Vulcan tonight. I am in 11.50 beta 4, and the frame rate is out of this world. In fact, let me bring up the frame rate here on screen. So, I'll load up the MSI Afterburner. And let me move the uh, frame right here a little bit here. Move it down there a little bit. Minimize this. I can actually try to make this a little bit bigger here. That's moving it. That's just moving it. Uh, let's see. That's a little bit bigger there. That's fine. Um, so as you can see, I'm getting 53 frames here in my... Um, X plane settings are pretty much maxed out. So, has anyone tried P3D V5 yet? Yes, absolutely. We we flew around uh, on. We did a live stream last night, John, on um, P3D V5. I used the uh, A2A 
172, and I loaded up at uh, John Wayne, Latin VFR John Wayne, and it was it blew my mind. I was able to max out the settings in P3D V5 and still have huge frames. I've never been able to max out my settings in, in P3D before, so very impressed with uh, V5. And yeah, now it's just a matter of a, a waiting game. Uh, I learned today that someone did was able to install the 737, the NGXU, uh, into P3D V5. But unfortunately, when I try to install it, you can either do the copy pasta or the dragon copy uh, and try to get it to work that way. Or you can, if you don't have the NGXU installed, you can install it fresh and then it'll install into V5. But if you have a V4 installation in conjunction, it when you try to install it, it says, oh, do you want to uninstall this or repair it or whatever? And there's a registry setting. So I think I'm going to wait until there's an official installer for the NGXU. But uh, Black Box was able to transfer the Q400. Yeah, according to the FS Elite website, the compatibility chart, it says the Q400 is works, but there's a few tweaks that need to be done. So um, Chase Plane works, and I've got, oh gosh, I've got probably 15 airports, payware, 15 payware airports to... Uh, uh, that that work in V5. So yeah, happy, 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 happy with a V5. Yeah, I heard, I saw a couple people streaming the quality wings. Uh, I don't know how difficult that port over is, but uh, uh, I last night, I basically with the A2A aircraft, you just copy the folder over from the P3D V4 add-ons folder. You copy A2A folder over to V5 and it works. Now I installed the 182 today and it did not work, but the 172 did work, so. Petri Ron's putting in Chase Plane right now. Yeah, Chase Plane works perfectly. Yep, 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 yep. So, anyway, um, anyone feel like giving that person a hot 600? I, I'm i totally fine with someone giving someone a hot 600 right up there. Um, anyway, tonight's X-Plane, though. We're going to be flying. A, we're testing Vulcan. I'm also testing my new air cooler, my new uh, Noctua. DH-15 air cooler, and uh, between the air cooler and Vulcan, I'm pretty happy. Right now, the CPU looks like it's around, si si well, it bounced up to 70 there, but there's 67, 66 Celsius on the CPU, and 52 frames with most of my graphics settings on high. So, have I heard of the PropStrike C-172? I have heard of that one, yep. Thank you for the follow, Wheeler Aviation, I do appreciate that. So let's go on to inside. I can't guarantee that there'll be full compatibility with the uh, Just Flight Piper Warrior, and I apologize for the glare on my uh, on my glasses tonight. Let's just change the color up to yellow and see what happens. Ooh, it's kind of a yellowish a yellowish orange. It's kind of weird. Darren Vox, how are you doing? Thank you for the hot six hundred. Thank you. Um, all right. So one thing I noticed here, and I don't know why, but as you see, as I move the mouse around. Look how it's lighting up. It's lighting up the dash. And I don't, is that a just flight? Is that a flashlight in here? Because my flashlight in X-Plane is not turned on. But as you can see, as I, as I scroll around, I'm getting a, 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 what looks like a pen light. It's kind of interesting. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the battery. And we'll go to Snack Air Green here for a little bit. Uh, what else we want to do here? Let's change our fuel tank here. And we'll add some mixture. Oh, my mixture access is not bound for some reason. That's unusual. So let's go up to joystick and let's move this bad boy. Change that to mixture. I don't know why that, that unbound. Throttle's working. And we'll 
turn on the fuel pump for a moment. Paddle out. How you doing? Yeah, we're rocking the donut livery. Yep. Pretty excited about that. Put the anti-collision light on. We got... Oh, speaking of the devil donut himself. Speaking of the devil donut himself, Sim Caesar is here with a raid of 30. Thank you for the raid, Sim Caesar. I, uh, I sent you a note on Discord to let you know that I am... You know, of course, rocking the beautiful, the one, the only donut livery from Sim Caesar. And the flight tonight is going to be Sprinkles 572. Devil Donuts, yeah. Hello, Puff, how you doing? Did I lose a bet with that livery? I didn't. I won a bet with this livery. <laughs> Fly 787, good to see you. Rushdie, hello, long time no see. It is so gorgeous. November 572 Delta November. You can guess what the Delta November stands for. But thank you for the uh the raid host. Uh we're just getting started. I haven't flown this plane in gosh, I haven't flown, flown I haven't flown this plane in 6 months. Hopefully it starts. There we go. Go full mixture. Uh I need some sound. So let's go up here. Yo, John Fly. Acknowledge the follower. That's interesting. I'm not getting any sound. Let's uh, return to explain. Uh, it might be a... Could be a... No. Oh, there we go. There's a li little bit of engine sound now. All right, turn on... Oop, turn on the alt... Turn on the alternator. May have missed someone else. Jonathan, there's the donut. Fresno J1976, hope you're well. Who else? Tonight? Pixel Penguin also in there. All right, there we go. So that one is configured. Let's now, I'm going to do my um, syncing of my gyro. And uh, let's see if, I don't think I have my... Uh, plane command working. The wine, is that from... That's got to be from... It's not in the interior. There's. I got a little bit of a wine that might be in the... Yeah, it's the gyros. Okay. Get rid of that bad boy. Um, we'll do flaps one on the notch. <laughs> There's our autopilot. Uh, tonight we're going to be going from uh, North Bend up to Eugene. Snack Air Ops here in in uh, in play. We'll do a squat code of yeah. We'll just do VFR altitude reporting. That's good there. Fuzzy Bear, how are you? I can't get my B2 volume to load in Beta 4. Oh, that's interesting because it it seems to be loading here. I did back up my, uh, I did back up my beta three just in case there were some some issues. There we go. The Sim Caesar spammy engine is started. Let's go ahead and see if we can taxi out. Wind here is six knots, three three zero. Again, amazing frame rates with settings almost maxed out. I love Vulcan. Continuum, how you doing? Hello, hello to Simcrash Mike. Happy Vino to you, Continuum. We're messing around with different lighting here in the background. There's a little bit of blue lighting. Doesn't necessarily signify my mood, but I will work on trying to get a command. So if you guys type in, you know, exclamation hot pink, that the whole room goes hot pink. Um, okay, the wind is three three zero, so I think we'll we'll go down to runway three one. Mood lights, yeah. 
Exactly. Thank you guys for joining me on this general aviation flight tonight. I, uh, I have missed, I have missed P3, uh, P3D. I have missed X-Plane. I've been flying a little too much P3D lately. Yeah, the lighting is, it's kind of fun. We were, we were showing it earlier how I had a song on and the, the lights will change to the beat of the music. And it was kind of nerdy. Love the GA, yeah. I mean, if you think about the John Fly channel, we, for, for years and years, we did a lot of GA. And then we kind of went the tube route for a little while. And, and we're still primarily tubes lately, but always got to come back to your fun, fun roots. White and nerdy, yep, exactly. I'm so blue. Have you been having blurry, blurry textures with Vulcan? Um, not yet. Not yet. I, not yet. Although there might be certain situations where I do. I don't know. We'll find out. I haven't really streamed much Vulcan at all. I think I did one stream with, uh, with Vulcan. And, um, this will be the second stream, I believe. Yeah. You get tons of blur in Vulcan uh, going into from CGS to White Plains. Huh. That's weird. May I ask for the inspiration? <laughs> Verity, how you doing? Hi, Mom. Um, I, you know what? I haven't heard the backstory on this from Sim Caesar. I'm assuming, I'm assuming he's, he enjoys a donut or two, but I don't know the background story on it. Maybe someone does. But... Maybe donuts, yeah, maybe donuts. In fact, let's go, let's go pink. Can we go pink? Thank you for the subscribe. Adam Thwaite with the subscribe. We'll have a pink light in the background now. And again, I apologize for the glare off my uh, glasses tonight. Oh well. Guess we have to deal with it. When I have the light to white, and I can turn the white to light, the white to light, lock, watch this. Boom. It's more of like a yellow though. Um, I don't have as much glare in the glasses, but I do kind of like the the color. FS Economy Auto Login. We got a sub crab. But thank you, Adam Thwaite, for the 20 months, 20 months, 20 months. Thank you for 20 months. That's Swansig in German, I think. Uh, thank you for the support, Adam. I do appreciate it very much. I do have a sub crab. I can't figure out why my vanilla install of 11.50 keeps crashing when I turn on Volk and more research to be done. Um, you, uh, I'm telling you right now, Iowa Scotsman, make sure that you update the latest NVIDIA drivers. I'm assuming you have an NVIDIA video card, so make sure that you update to the latest NVIDIA driver. And let, maybe you already have, let me know. There's a few other things to try, of course. I always tell people, you know, get rid of, oh, you did update, uh-oh. Um, I tell people get rid of every plugin and test and then get rid of every custom scenery add-on and test and then hey we got a gifted sub we got a gifted sub paddle out gifting a tier one sub to continue them thank you paddle out very generous thank you and Conti is we very got a sub -crime. very well deserving of the sub crime thank you very much both uh, two two streamers right there. One streamer gifting to the other streamer. So thank you very much. All right, let's uh, turn on uh, pedo heat. Any light is on. I'm gonna. I don't think I need to lean yet, so I won't lean quite yet. I think we're. I think we're ready to go. I'll just switch tanks just for kicks and giggles. Although I think it is on auto switch. Yeah, it is on auto switch. Okay. Yeah, and then the last the last step that I do, Iowa Scotsman, is I, I ask people to install a fresh, plain, vanilla copy of X-Plane into a second directory. But if you bought your X-Plane from steam that's a little difficult to do but if you bought it directly from laminar it's very easy to install 
a second copy that's just plain vanilla, nothing in there. Load up the default Skyhawk in Vulcan and see what happens. But maybe you've already done that. Darren Vox, how are you doing? I guess I'll rerun the NVIDIA to, to check. Yeah, it couldn't, couldn't hurt. Greg Brem, how you doing? Good evening. All right, here we go. Let's head out to uh, let's check check for any traffic coming in. Amazing frame rates. And again, my graphic settings are like practically maxed out. So, all right, let's go to Snack Air Green on the background here for our takeoff. Could be just your specific video card. You could, yeah, just go buy a 2080 Ti to check. Yep, that'd work. Do a clean install when you update the drivers. Yeah, yeah, clean, a uh, clean install of the NVIDIA drivers. But then go back through your NVIDIA settings to make sure that your, you know, all those are at the proper setting. All right, full mixture. Here we go. I think this is our third takeoff with Vulcan on stream, maybe. I don't know. Let's see if this donut can fly. Oh, this donut flies well. Whoa. Oh, but FS economy. Oh, that started quicker. Enjoy your flight. FS, yeah. Wow. Okay. Hey, there's a helicopter right there. Okay, let's bring up the flaps. Oh, this is a fast bird. Oh, this is a fast bird. I think we want to head north, so I think I'll turn right. Oh yeah, my my wing my wing light is not flashing, and unfortunately, unfortunately, I have to. Uh, ooh, let me get on autopilot first here. Hold on. I'm gonna lean a little bit. We're definitely not gonna be VFR here in a second. All right, let's turn on the autopilot. And we'll go heading. And we'll also level off our altitude for a moment. And you know what? We got a subcribe. We got a subcribe. I'm going to turn evening, down. John in chat. We got a subcribe. We have a subcribe. I'm going to turn down the environment here a little bit. Um, thank you very, very much for the subcribe. We got uh, Alt F8 is here. There you go, Alt F8. How you doing? I think we're going the wrong way. Uh, let's go... Let's keep our turn going here. We're going to go track 031. There we go. That's approximately... And I'm not sure... I may have rented an aircraft that doesn't have an um, a GPS. So this, yeah. So we, we may have to do just the old manual heading autopilot. Can you walk me through a quick snack air flight later? I have a few issues. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, you bet. You betcha. All right, I'm gonna pitch up. I'm gonna see if I can get up to a higher altitude here. So let's go. Pitch up. We're gonna break some rules here with VFR flying. Man, this scenery looks amazing. Okay, still pitching up. It was only, I swear, it was only a little IMC earlier. Yeah, exactly, officer. 
Thank you again, Alt F8. Nine months in a row, Twitch baby. In fact, what are we gonna name our Twitch baby, Alt F8? I need inquiring minds need to know. In fact, maybe during cruise we'll um, we'll take a look at the snack hair uh, leaderboard and statistics for the month so far. The, the the Twitch baby's name is Stuart. I like it. After the Stuart Airport, potentially, or or like Patrick Stewart. Dead reckoning and pilotage, yeah. And using a GPS, but not coupling the nav. Okay, let's go back into go autopilot on, and we'll go heading mode, and we'll sync up the heading bug. Oops, she is pitching down. There we go. I don't know. I don't think I can get all the way to Eugene with uh, with a at a thousand feet. But let's go to the map. Oh, we're a little bit off. So I put in the heading of the of the DTK or the track. I think I do the track, huh? Set, set heading zero two two. Set heading zero three one. Autopilot requires the pro version. <sighs> Got to register it. All right, my track is twenty. Oops. Again, we're gonna go into. Heading mode. There we go. Did you create these or does Twitch customize them? Uh, Twi Tw Twitch does that. Yeah, what did you put on top of my head? Leaderboard won't have me this month. Did finally get a few minutes to try Vulcan today. Easily double my frames. That's awesome. Uh, in the airfoil labs, very nice. Can't wait to get an actual flight in. Yeah, just just stay current, right? I think I'm going to... Oh my gosh, my livery changed. What the snack? Yo, John Fly. Acknowledge the follower. Gosh. Got a follow there. The Candorist with the follow, thank you. Alright, I'm going to pitch up again. I'm just going to take off the altitude hold. And then I'll pitch up. There we go. Scotty Bob, how you doing? Yeah, I don't know this plane very well, Sim Caesar. Is there... Yeah... Is there an E? Yeah, there's the EGT gauge. I was like, where's the EGT gauge? Do you peek it and then bring it back? Up somewhere. I probably shouldn't have the EGT off the charts, though. All right, there we go. It's looking good over here in Oregon, though. All right, now that we're in cruise, we can change it to a blue light here in the background. Let's keep our pitch up here. Virus City, how you doing, sir? I thought of you today as I uh, did a uh, vertical call spread in Tesla. I, yeah, I did a vertical call spread in Tesla. And it expires Friday. <laughs> that thing is on a tear again. Yeah, that was a bogus livery. It just just creeped up on me, and then yeah, we had to show who was who was who was boss. Yeah, I'm doing well. Yep, doing well. Right girl's got a little bit of a cough, but she tested uh, negative, so we're happy about that. Uh, Alt F 
Alt F8 and I have a new Twitch baby named Stuart. And he's already got his PPL. I think Tesla should just stop making cars forever. Stock would hit 2,500. Yeah, that's totally true. All right, there's coming up to 1,800 feet. Yeah, the mood lighting's kind of nice. Yeah. Would you like a particular color, Lost Haze? Tell me a color. I'll try to get as close as I can to it. The only thing is, is when I'm flying in, when it's low light, I get the big reflection of the monitors off my glasses, but. And the only way I guess I can get rid of, uh oh, we better. I guess the only way we can get rid of the glare off my glasses is for me to do virtual reality. All right, there's 2000. Let's see if we can level off at 2000. Might be able to get to Eugene on at 2000. Yeah. I need to register my plane command. Yeah. You want forest green? All right, let's see. What's forest green? There's a green. There's a little bit more of a, that's more of a lime green. That's a Mountain Dew green. So the forest green is probably going to be like maybe, maybe right there. I don't know. Here's the brightness. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I can change the brightness halfway all the way. And I don't know what this is. Oh. That's like saturation or something. That's kind of cool. That's the closest I can get to forest green, I think. But it's not really that forest green. We in the club tonight, exactly. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, for those that joined late, I'll show you what we were doing earlier. Uh, here's music. So, again, we are in the club during this situation here let's try a song here uh here we go You got to admit, it's kind of cool. It's kind of nerdy cool. Yeah, it's kind of... Yes, thank you, McConnell. Yeah, it's nerdy cool, right? All right, we don't want to stress out our engine too much. Ah, we're fine. You know what I realized? Yeah, my magnetos were, were not on both. Now they are. Got a little off course there. All right, according to this, we have 45 miles to go. If, yeah, we had the uh, Flyboy and Flygirl were dancing to the beat of the drum. We, we were listening to Queen uh, Radio Gaga with the lights flashing, and yeah, the kids were, were dancing around, so tons of shadow artifacts hope they can figure out how to fix those um are you talking about in vulcan or what are you talking about who would have thought the mood lighting in the donut livery would be the highlight of a job live stream <laughs> it's a good looking livery look at this bad boy that is some that sprinkles 572 right there baby hope i don't hit any uh mountains we fly warriors at florida tech if only they looked like that. Yeah, this thing would stand out for sure. Yep. If there's any billionaires in the chat tonight that would like to sponsor a real-life donut warrior, I'm sure all of us would take you up on it. 
on your dashboard was pretty bad. Oh, oh, on the dashboard. Um, oh yeah, you're right. Is that is that a uh, a Vulcan thing? So you're talking about this stuff right here, right? Yeah, you're right. I didn't notice that before. Lots of you're right, man. I would have been just fine without noticing that. <laughs> But yeah, thank you, Sim Caesar, for the, uh, the sprinkles five seven two. Yeah, no, it's infamous. The infamous donut livery. But let's make it famous. Yeah. Yep. We should make this available, right? The 572 Delta November to only current snack air pilots, right? <laughs> external shadows look fine, just internal. Yeah, I hadn't noticed that before. Um, thank you for Dang Driver with the subscribe. Dang Driver with the subscribe. Woohoo. Thank not only is is Dang Driver subbing up for 32 months in a row. We got a subscribe. Dang Driver also. Uh, recently donated two million dollars to Snack Air to help pay off our debt, because yes, Snack Air is in heavy debt because we bought Jackson Hole, and we don't regret that purchase, and we don't mind being in debt. Interest rates are low. It was the time to strike the Jackson Hole iron hot, because there's a, a saloon there called the Million Dollar Saloon, and every time that someone is on FS economy and they go, they fly into Jackson hole. They're immediately required to go to the million dollar saloon and hang out for dinner. Gotta love snack air. There you go. We got, I think nine or 10 people on the wait list right now. So we didn't have to let someone go today, unfortunately, but I will make a small purchase, a small donation. Uh, oh, that you give some virtual dollary due toward our debt. Well, keep in mind, make make sure you keep enough money, you know, for your own uh, needs and requirements of Vegemite and ownership fees for your aircraft. Uh oh, I'm getting some mountain wave right there. I think a little bit of mountain wave. Look at that. We are cruising. We're getting 41 frames, and we're in the 60-degree range. Do you guys recall when I was using the stock air cooler for my AMD processor? That was 80 degrees Celsius when we were doing something like this. 80 degrees Celsius. Now we're in the 60s, occasionally popping up to the low 70s. So, yeah. Let's do a flyby here. Oh, yeah. Isn't that smooth? Now in real life, you'd never fly this low to the to the ground floor, but we're taking it to the uh, to the edge. Virtual FSE dollars. We have money for beer still. Okay. Well, thank you for any any donation. Snack Air appreciates that very much. Uh, we our our loan balance it left over is something like seven point two million. So, but again. Jackson Hole, I really wanted that airport badly, so. We also have, we picked up Louisville recently, and of course, our big mamma jammas are um, Albuquerque, Tulsa, Eugene coming up here, we'll land, we'll land at Eugene, um, Torrance, Flagstaff, Gallup, uh, Pope, oh, Birmingham, Birmingham is like our, our biggest uh, money maker. And it's a massive hub that TARB 56 is built out, based out of Birmingham. And Birmingham is paid off. So, ironically, my the most expensive airport that we have purchased is Albuquerque. I think we paid, I think we paid 15 million for Albuquerque. So, yeah. Very impressed with the frame rates. Would you guys classify that as VFR? I think I it, I think it still is technically VFR but boy it's 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 on the edge.
Uh, C206 stationaire, are you here? Yeah, Pichu Ron, two millions, no small chunk of change. Uh, Johnny to Theo with the follow, thank you. Um, we have, yeah, marginal VFR, yep. I would classify it as that for sure, yep. All right, we need time for a color change. Hey, Kajo, long time no see. How you doing? There's there's a little um, red light. Put on your red light. Again, my glasses are big time reflection. Uh, Vulcan is fantastic in this Piper Warrior from Just Light over True Earth, uh, Oregon. Orbex, True Earth, Oregon. And... We are in my favorite livery of the hour. Check it out now. The Sprinkles Soul, brother. Check it out now. The Sprinkles 572. Check it out now. It's gorgeous. Marginal VFR is ceiling 1,000 to 3,000 and visibility 3 to 5 statute. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what we are. Yeah, I would classify it as that. So yeah, and we're not getting any stutters, any skippy skips, and this the graphic settings are are really high. We even have reflections turned on. Um, if you guys remind me, I can show you the graphic settings that we have uh, it, when we land. If you want to take a look, let's go up to the orange light. Ooh, maybe go a light blue for a moment. Dakota, how are you doing? Captain Obvious, this plane gives me diabetes. <laughs> ah! Yeah, yeah. Reflections are the number one FPS killer in X Plane 11. Absolutely. And I've got them on uh, notch two. And I still have 50, you know, 54 frames right here. So, and I, do we really, and there's 65 frames. Do we really need more? More than that, frame-wise, we don't really. So I actually could probably turn the reflections up even more, but it is definitely a, a hog, a resource hog. But Vulcan seems to uh, to like it. Are, how are you, do, Sim Caesar? Have have you been playing with the Vulcan? How are you finding it? Of course, we see these internal shadows that are a little bit odd, but. I'm more interesting, interested in reducing stutters than frames. Yeah. Give me 35 frames and no stutters, and I'm a happy camper. Yeah. The only time that I want more than 30 frames is when I'm in an F-16 over Palm Springs, you know. And then I, I, I need a few more frames than, than 35. All right, let's see what we got here. We got 27 miles to go. All right, I, I feel kind of dumb. Um, our, the DTK is 32 and the track is 36. Is that because we have an 11 knot uh, wind coming headwind at us? Or, or a little bit of a crosswind? Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's not it's not Call of Duty, no. We played Call of Duty last night. I got killed again, but that's okay. Ground shadows are another FPS killer, at least for you. In Vulcan, Bob, or, or yeah. You have the Steam version of X-Plane, so it's a little more difficult if I want to try beta versions. Ah, okay. Yeah, I... Um, I have two different copies of X-Plane, which is pretty convenient. That's I'm, I'm, I didn't know that you couldn't do that with Steam. But you, apparently, you can have multiple copies of X-Plane with Steam, but I haven't. There's a little bit of a workaround to get that going, and I it's kind of a pain. 
So I run, I have 11.4 in a directory, and then I have the 11.5 beta 4 uh, in another directory. And I kept 11.4 mostly for PauseCon. And I, you know, I haven't been flying PauseCon that much. And now apparently PauseCon will work in 11.50 if, if you turn Vulcan off. And I don't know if this is the case, but maybe PauseCon will work with everything. You just won't see the other traffic. I don't know With if you have Vulcan turned on. I don't know what the limitations are, but I need to do a little more testing in the PauseCon world. You're running 150 FPS in Call of Duty 60 Hertz? Yeah. Yeah, my, yeah. Yeah, I have Call of Duty on the other PC, and it's it's a pretty hunky-dory situation with regard to frames. Ground speed is not terribly high here. Cleared up a little bit here, but it looks like we will go through. Well, no, I think we'll stay clear of the clouds. I think our destination is just past that mountain ridge. Yo, John Fly. Acknowledge the follow Cirx Light 1 with the follow. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go white on the light now. And I'm going to change. That's kind of cool. I can change the brightness. They don't they also have this thing called scene. So apparently this is night. This is reading. This is uh working light. I don't see much difference between working and reading. Leisure. Ooh, leisure light. Soft. Uh, colorful. Uh, dazzling. Wow. Uh, is dazzling? Oh, dazzling is changing. Oh, wow. Uh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> and then gorgeous. I don't know what gorgeous means, but... And then apparently I can, apparently I can, um, time it so it, it turns off after a certain amount of time, so. Can you change the temperature of the lighting? Um, no, just the brightness or, or the color contrast, I guess. But the, uh, and I, I guess technically you are changing the temperature, um, well, you're changing the, I guess the, would it be? Lumens? You're changing the lumens? I think. Alright, we're getting close. 17 miles to go to Eugene. CPU 61 Celsius right now. 62. Oh, 71, 70, 68, 67. You need to set my, uh, my altimeter. Oh, my altimeter is in Is there an, a barrel versus is there an inches versus hectopascal? I don't know if there is or not. Oops. You don't want to change the livery accidentally again. Yeah, I think it's just changing the brightness, the lumen level, but kind of cool. I 
I got them for free. Well, not technically free. I used my Amazon reward points to pick up a, two of these, and so there's two bulbs above me. How do you know when to put in carb heat? That's a good question. That is a very good question. Sometimes, sometimes in the past, x plane has, has told me, Yo, John Fly, put in carb heat. AFR, Louis, how you doing? Good eye. All right, 14 miles. I do have the landing rate plug in, in so if you want to make a landing rate, yes. Feel free to do so for snacks. Does it have to do with manifold, manifold pressure? Probably. And also uh, temperature, I'm assuming. Or there is moisture in the air, yeah. T-Bird's going with 82 on the prediction. I'll go with 174. When the temperature is above is about 50 Fahrenheit, 10 Celsius, and moist conditions, you should use carb heat. Well, there's your answer. There you go, thank you, Tom. There's a 39 prediction. We got a subscribe. John772 with the subscribe. Let's change John the wheels. Bio snack. Oh yeah, it's the wheels of the subscribe. Thank you for the subscribe. Appreciate we it. got a sub crab. And we are 11 out. 11 out. What was the highlight of your day, John772? What was the highlight of your Wednesday? I don't know if they modeled that, but IRL, you would get carb heat in those conditions. You'd get carb ice. Yeah. I think some planes. They do model that. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if the Just Flight does model that, but I, I don't know for sure. Iowa Scotsman's in for a prediction of 110. It's just smooth. It pans around smooth. You got glossy reflections. I mean, it's just, what a wonderful sim world we live in. Scotty Bob's in for a really low number of 64. Inchworm's in for a mediocre 95. Captain Obvious is more in the ballpark, 154. Yeah, it's a good paint here. Sprinkles, 572. Bike ride with my daughter or taking a nap or both. There you go. I like it. Yeah, we just got a new bike for Flyboy, and he's... We got a new scooter for Fly Girl, and she, but I, I I'm gonna tell you right now, some kids are just born with balance, and those two have balance. And I'm not bragging or anything, but they're both very athletic. They've got the eye hand, leg, eye hand coordinate, all that coordination. They just got the skills. Uh, I'm gonna teach them how to golf, and they're that's my retirement plan. All right. We can slowly uh, descend now. I want to pull back the power. Stay in heading mode. There we go. There's our descent. Jump a little bit. There's 500 feet, 400 feet, 500 feet, give or take. Jananigans in with a 189. That's in the ballpark. If I ever get a plane, I want a goofy wrap. Wrap, yeah. Yep. IRL, you... Let's see, Tom says, IRL, your engine will start running rough, so first do car peat, then fuel pumps, then switch tanks. That makes sense. Dogs, how you doing? 
Happy Wednesday to you. Uh, John, yeah, we, we, um, we did a stream last night in P3D V5. In fact, uh, if I remember to, I'll release, um, the videos, but because you're a subscriber, you can access the VODs from last night. We, we ran P3D V5 in the, uh, the A2A 172, and I was extremely impressed. Sim Caesar's in with a 68. If they are coordinated, have them be crop dusters. Yeah, there you go. They took after their mother. Exactly, Puff. Yep, exactly. They, yeah, they did. They took off. They took after their mother. It's funny when when I first met my wife and we went on a date. Of course, I take my dates to the driving range, and she had these boots on that kind of went pretty high up. You know, covered you know, pretty high up on the boots. And I'm like, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to golf in those. And she says, oh, we'll just try it. Sure enough, she gets up there and just starts. I'm like, whoa. All right, I like this girl. But yeah, we'll we'll stream the V5 again. I I really want one of the big, the major payware players to release a, an installer for v5 i would of course i would love all of the pmdg products but you know if a tfdi came out and surprised me that they had a uh a 717 installer for v5 that would make me a happy man um same with quality wings and fs labs <laughs> of course fs labs all right we're four miles out Need to get back on course here. I'm going to go autopilot off. Tested the 747-400 and 800 manually. It works, but cockpit lighting is a bit off. So, Rushti, with... How did you do that? What what uh, directories did you do an installation using the installer file and you just pointed it? I mean, you didn't have V4 installed? Or did you manually... You, you did the manual copy, I think is what you're saying. What folders and do I need to try that with? Because I'd like to try that with the uh, the NGXU. But I don't, I, there's so many different folders that are in play. I just don't know. Yeah, okay, so if you... See, I tried to point the installer of the NGXU, but it, it found my V4 installation and wouldn't let me change it. And it was looking at the registry and it wouldn't let me change it, so. Were you l really looking at her driving ability or her, or her boots? <laughs> oh. Well, I will say I did have a video of it, so. Uh, maybe I was, you know, I saw the drive after the fact, yeah. All right. I assume that's my airport. Yep. Let's put in a notch of flappy flaps. Your wife loves the donut livery. There you go. She wants a Chevy Spark painted like that. Yeah, it's... This is definitely the pinkest plane I've ever flown, for sure. Another notch of flaps. Trim up a little bit here. Orlos, good to see you. How are you doing, Orlos? All right, let's take it in. All right, last few seconds to get your landing rate guesses in, and I don't, I don't know. The, the, the guesses have been going for a while, so we need to figure out who won. Get someone, put one of my moderators or someone, please get ready to scroll back. Final notch of flaps, and we need to scroll back and find out who the winner is. My guess is 182 now. Not bad. Your Logitech yoke came in the mail today. Ooh, nice. I have a honeycomb yoke that's been in the box for three weeks. I haven't even opened it. I probably shouldn't have bought it. <laughs> There's a little bit of a crosswind here. All right, 
Might have to use some rudder pedal here. Oh, my rudders are a little bit off. Ooh, the ground handling. I think we were at a, at a uh, angle. I probably wasn't using enough uh, rudder. Anyway, who won? 47. It was a float. It was a donut float. <laughs> we're down. And I'm sorry, the sound is is down. But I think PMG will release the new installers very soon. I really hope so. I really hope so because if I do the FNO on Friday, I don't even know where the FNO is, but if I do the FNO, I want to fly the NGXU again, so it'd be nice if there was an installer by then, but that's not going to happen. But within, you know, before the end of the month would be super nice. I worry about doing the manual install. Uh, I should turn off my lights, etc., but uh, I worry about doing the manual install because I just think I'm borking something down the road by doing the manual install, but I don't know. Who won that? We got a subscribe. Rusty. Rusty with the subscribe. Gifted sub from Puff MTD. Thank you, Puff. Appreciate that. Thank you for flying. Thank Bye -bye. you, Puff MTD, for the gifted sub to Rusty. Rusty, Rush, I can't say his name. I'm just going to call you Rusty from now on. Roasty. No, I'll call you Roasty. Um, thank you for the follow also, Crazy Loca. Thank you, Puff. Appreciate it. Uh, JC Villam also with the subcribe. JC Villam 2 with the subcribe. 14 months. Thank you, JC Villam. Appreciate that. Um, the Boston BDL in Toronto on Friday. Ooh. Bradley. Very nice. Uh, Phil Flyer with the follow. Thank you very much. Let's rock some some purple Twitch colors. There we go. Purple Twitch to celebrate the sub cribes. All right. I think we um, will take a look at the FS economy log and see how we did on that one. John Fly, K O T H to K E U G. Piper, P A 28 Warrior, 19, 1969 in revenue. Um, income of 2268, 40 minutes. Fuel, 2449. Ground crew fee of 226.80. Distance bonus of positive 1984. George Orwell. And Snack Air got 1063. Pilot got 906. In the bank right now, we have. 565 grand. Um, like I say, we're in debt. 7.2 million. We did get an offer on one of our FBOs, though. So we'll have a little bit of a cash injection on an FBO that we wanted to sell anyway. So, so that's good. Let's go over to the leaderboard for a moment. Change the colors to green for the Snack Air leaderboard. Orlos got it with 40. Thank you, Aqua. I appreciate that. So, Orlos, congratulations. I'll give you 444 for that. All right. I'm going to go over to... Well, we'll just let this one load in. All right, so, so far in the month of April, we've got 505 flights. That's fantastic. That's putting us on track for 1,000 flights for the month of April, which is fantastic. 403 hours of flight time amongst all the pilots. 2.8 million in income. 980,000 profit. 
pilots getting 1.1 million. C206 stationary leading the way. Almost a million. Django 53, which is a relatively new pilot uh, for Snack Air. He's flying a lot of the uh, Quest Kodiak. Black Sheep 01 in third place. 308. Tar 56. Fourth Cloud Guy. The Dirts. Floydian. Kelster. Tylenol with Wings. And Tiber round out the top 10. Every once in a while, I go over here to the extracted data. Citation Max, how you doing, sir? I hope you're streaming tonight. We just did a Vulcan test in the Piper Warrior. Hope you're well, sir. I'm looking forward to Saturday. For those that have not heard the news, there will be a JBM uh, talk show, vod, vodcast, vidcast, uh, chat session. Brad M, Citation Max, and myself will be doing that, and I believe we'll be hosting that on the John Fly channel. So be sure to look out for the release of the question form and get your question in for the three of us to answer. JBM. In fact, I need to, I need to make a new emote. If there's anyone out there tonight that would like to make an emote JBM, please let me know. I would love for a new JBM emote. I'm not. I'm not even sure if it's JBM. It could be BMJ, MJB, uh, or it could. E we can even change it to a C. But I like the M. I don't know. Yeah. O F N O. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, what I do is I come in here and I sort this by profit and. You can see the very profitable flight there from the Dirts, the Floydian, the Django, the Celtic, the Tylenol, the Cloud Guy. And then I go and I sort it the other way, and you can see we've lost some. There's a few losing money flights. But the majority of these, I've analyzed this, and the majority of these flights that have lost money were just relocations to make money down the road. So I'm totally fine with losing money in order to make money. Because if... If you want to make a million dollars starting an airline, start with two million. Do you know how to share a cockpit? Yep. Yeah, we do. I do shared cockpit on uh, on YouTube. And uh, I'm sorry, on Twitch. And there's some YouTube videos of me doing shared cockpit recently. In fact, just like a week and a half ago, we did shared cockpit in the uh, 757. It's fantastic. 